What's up puzzlers, Lion Roar here. So check it out, there's gonna be a brand new puzzle matching game that's better than all the rest coming just around the corner. And it's called Puzzles Crusade. It's a game where you can actually own and trade your own heroes. Okay, tell me if this sounds familiar. You're playing your mobile hero game and you're really excited because they just released a bunch of brand new heroes. You spend tons of money on it just to get nothing special in return. Did it happen once? Twice? Ten times? Did you even count up how much money you spent on this? I know I can relate to this. And for what? When you're actually done playing the game, what do you get to take with you? Let's face it, the developers of these games make money off of our addiction and we get nothing in return. This is about to change. Stick with me for a couple of minutes because I'm gonna try to explain as briefly and as clearly as possible a new gaming concept in which players actually own their in-game assets. They're able to sell them and they get rewarded for the time spent in game. But first, let me take a moment to make sure we're on the same page about the terminology I'm going to use. Puzzles Crusade is gonna be built on the blockchain or basically, a unique line of code that can't be copied or duplicated and is finite, so there can only be so much of it. Related to that are NFTs or non-fungible tokens. To keep it simple, these can be things like music files or pictures or for the purposes of this Puzzles Crusade game, the assets within the game like the hero cards that are unique and can be traded and there's only so many of them. In fact, even if there are 10,000 copies of one hero, the one that you own is unique and it's unique to you, which is what lets you own multiples or trade them, but there will never be more than the ones that exist. Also, play to earn is a new concept in gaming, which we haven't seen up to this point. Usually you spend money on games, the money's gone forever. Well, it's in the hand of the developers. You never see it again. You're out of money, but in return, you have fun. But now, not only can you have fun, but you can earn money by playing the game. And when I say money, I mean like crypto because these NFTs are built on the blockchain, which is crypto. So as you play, you will get rewards and things and, and the NFTs that you earn hold value that you can trade for other crypto or even dollars. Staking is a concept where you take your NFTs or your crypto and you lock it in for a period of time and by locking it in you earn unique rewards that people who don't lock theirs in don't get. So you want to stake your rewards, you want to stake your heroes, you want to stake your assets and your crypto so that you get the special rewards in return. Usually the special rewards are collectible. Airdropping is another way to get those special rewards and that basically means uh, that the creators of the game are going to send you assets for free. In fact, I'm just going to give you a little hint at things to come in this video here, but the creators of this game are going to airdrop heroes to you if you help to get this game started. Lastly, we have tokenomics. So this is uh, basically the economy of the game. Um, usually. Crypto games like this one come with its own token or its own crypto and it also has the NFTs that go with it and the uh, mixture of those two and the interaction of the two are what the tokenomics is or the economics of the game. Now since we've covered the terminology, let me tell you why we're really here. If you saw the trailer for the new game Puzzles Crusade, which I'll of course link in the description, you can tell it looks a lot like the other games you've been enjoying for quite a while now. Being an active player of the same games for a couple of years, of course, I know all the struggles the community faces, so right off the bat, I can tell you Puzzles Crusade will be far better because it will be focused on its players, like no other game in this genre, because of course, it will be play to earn. We as the community will build this game together. And to build a game like this, we need funds. In crypto, there are two ways to raise the funds for a project. One is going to investors to sell them the idea and along with that, a significant slice of the project. We get the funding, but lose the decision making. This is the most effective way, but also the most destructive way as it would basically mean to empower the rich people to make all the calls about the game down the road instead of us, which is no different from the current crop of gacha games. 
The second way is to organize an initial sale, sell in-game assets, collect the funds, and go into development. This is the path Puzzles Crusade has chosen. It's the hardest one because it implies a lot of community trust and a heck of a lot more effort, but we keep the decision making. Now, why would I buy heroes from a game that isn't built yet, you might ask? And yes, this is a legit question, so let's shed some light on why that's important. The Puzzles Crusade initial pre-release will take place in late May and there will be five mythical heroes you can purchase. There's going to be a limited amount of these heroes, somewhere between 5 and 10,000 in total, and there will never be any more of them. Although the game will only be in development at that moment, you can already benefit from holding these heroes. Here are just a couple of advantages you get. After the initial sale, a staking campaign will be launched. You will lock your hero or heroes for a period of time, and in return when staking ends, you get back your hero and a full set of items needed to ascend it to max tier, max level. Being a holder of a Genesis hero qualifies you for a beta tester role should you want it. So you're going to be one of the first people to actually try Puzzles Crusade and help improve it by providing feedback before it ever reaches the App Store. When the game is launched, there will be a special event for players who have a Genesis hero with generous rewards fund. Also, already having one or more Genesis heroes when the game launches will allow you to move a lot faster on the world map, completing the stages easier, therefore advancing at a better pace than people who start with one and two star heroes. Players who have a Genesis hero on their roster will get airdropped the hero of the month for the next six months after the launch. That means the hero of the month comes to you for free. When the token is launched, which is scheduled by the end of 2022, players who have at least one Genesis hero will get airdropped a monthly reward in the token for the year. Let's not forget the collector aspect of this game. So when the game reaches 100, 200, 500,000 players, you get to have in your roster a very scarce card, therefore a very valuable one. And last but not least, remember that the heroes you bought are NFTs. So if you don't have the patience to wait for all those great rewards and opportunities, rest assured someone else will want to buy it from you. Although I can't think of a reason why you would want to consider selling, especially at the early stages of the game. And let's not forget the play to earn mechanic. Remember that everything you do in the game will give you a small token reward, which then can be exchanged for real money. Puzzles Crusade is building the tokenomics in a way that will encourage the players to hold on to their rewards rather than selling them as soon as they get them. And because there's a limited supply of the token, which can never increase, this will drive the price of the token up which simply means more real money for you. We know that for a person outside of the crypto world, it's hard to understand how you could earn money by playing a game. If you want a better picture, Google Axia Infinity. People around the world have made big money by playing it. There are countries in which people quit their regular job because playing the game paid better. Axie Infinity was the pioneer of the play to earn concept. Most of the people play it for the earnings rather than enjoying it. And I've tested it out myself and while it's a really cool concept, it's not that fun. Puzzles Crusade is set up to be the new standard. It's going to actually be a super fun game. In fact, we can kind of think of it as play to earn joy. So while there's still the earnings incentive, you can actually enjoy the game at least as much as you currently do with the games that you're playing right now. And you get to keep the pieces and possibly trade or sell them. So that's about it. Long story short is, you get one of the most beloved mechanics in the mobile game industry integrated on blockchain with a play to earn concept so you could actually earn some money while playing it instead of spending your day to day wages on the game. Sound good? If you're excited about this, here's what you can do today. Check the description of this video for links to the Puzzles Crusade social media and start following so you know when the pre-sale starts and can take advantage of it and I will catch you in the next one.